Hello everyone, Coach Dana here and today I'm back with another video. I was asked to make this video so that I could teach you guys what's a more reasonable and appropriate dress code and also different angles that you guys can do when you guys are filming and sending your assessment videos to your teachers. Let's get started, okay? So, first things first, what I want to get out of the bat is when you guys are working out, you guys can definitely wear whatever you want, okay? I, I'm pretty sure no one's gonna judge you or um, discriminate you or disrespect you from what you will wear. It's definitely 100% your choice, okay? But with that said, there will be a more appropriate dress code when you guys record yourselves and send it to your teachers. I think for now, due to the whole quarantine uh, online learning situation, none of us really knows what um, the kind of procedures there are. But heck, let's just get along with this, okay? Like I said, you guys can wear whatever you want when you're at your when you're by yourself or when you're at your own home, at your own space. But when you guys are recording and sending your um, when you guys are sending your own types of files to your professors, then there will be a time when you guys, of course, need to dress more appropriately. So appropriate would fall into maybe three different categories. So the first one, it should of course be functional. So you guys should be able to move in the clothing that you wear. Number two, it should be comfortable for you. And number three, us teachers or your coaches should also feel that um, we're comfortable enough to watch you perform your exercises. By that, I mean that your clothing shouldn't be too revealing to the point that, of course, us teachers might get uncomfortable, right? Whoa. <laughs> so hi guys, I just want to give you guys a short example of what you guys can wear. You can start off with wearing shorts at an appropriate length. You can wear shorts with shorts inside them. You can even wear leggings. Shirts that show more skin, obviously you would want to try to stay away from so that uh, you're on that safe side, right? So another thing that we should talk about is when you guys are filming yourselves, what is the best way to film yourself so that your professor can assess you properly? When I do an exercise, when I do a certain exercise, I would film front view. Like so, okay, and then we can also do side view. All right. So depending on the space that you have at home, this would also depend on what angle that works best for you. If you are someone who, of course, has limited space, then I suggest putting your camera somewhere quite high so you have more of a bird's eye view. And if you guys have a laptop, you guys can stack it just alongside so that your the important parts is of course seen, like your feet and your shoulders. And then from here, and then from here, your coach or your prof will probably assess you good from there. So that brings me to the end of this video. I hope that this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.